we've got to put a water pump on Bruce, my 1987 Dodge Ram 50. It's not leaking, it's not making horrible grinding noises, but that shaft bearing is wobbly and going bad quickly. Actually, first I need to put a jacket on so I don't freeze to death. I should have done this days ago when it was 70, but now it's Ohio, so it's 40. I thought about doing the whole Mr. Rogers jacket and shoes things, but I couldn't catch the shoes. So I don't know how that guy did that. Great hand-eye coordination. Who knew? So this is my 1987 Dodge Ram 50. It's the 2.6 engine, not the 2.0. And here's the water pump right here. Pretty easy to get to on this one. All we're going to have to do is take the four bolts or four nuts off to get the fan clutch off. There's no shroud, so we don't have to get that out of the way. And then I think it's five or six bolts and two hoses. All right, so we'll we got to take the nuts off of the studs that hold this fan clutch on. That'll be step one. We're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench, assuming you can find one. Then you're also going to need a slotted screwdriver and you're going to take that slotted screwdriver and you're going to jam it between one of the nuts and the shaft on that fan clutch and then you're going to loosen another nut. And that way this thing doesn't spin on you and you don't bust knuckles. And once you get all those nuts and lock washers off, there you go, fan clutch out of the way. Step one was not remove the belt because obviously we can remove the belt when we take the pulley off. So there you go. Step 2B or step 3 was remove the belt. <sighs> All right, now it's time to make a mess and drain some coolant. The drain on the radiator is down here at the bottom. Hopefully you can see this, but this drain right here actually has a little 5 16 port on it, right there. I don't know if you can see that. So I can put a hose on it and run that. There's the drain right there, and they actually gave you enough room between the skid plate and this lower fascia to sneak a hose out. Also, make sure you take the radiator cap off. It's gonna drain a lot faster if it can get air in the top to let the water out the bottom. One now, there we go. This is gonna take a while, but at least there's not gonna be a mess and I'm gonna have great joy over that. I drained down far enough to get this lower hose off, so let's do that. Here, once you've got the clamp loose on this lower hose, if it's been on there a while, it's probably stuck onto the neck of this water pump. If you're trying to save this hose, pocket screwdriver or something like an old GM starter shim, especially if you can't get a straight shot. Slide that up between the hose and the water pump and try to break all the crust loose. And that's really going to make your job easier to do this. If you're going to replace this hose, you can just take a utility knife and slot it right here and peel it apart and you'll be just fine. But since I'm saving this hose, I wanted to bust that crust and make my job a lot easier. Let's get this lower hose up and out of the way. I think next I want to get this spring clamp or constant tension clamp scooted back because if I loosen the water pump and then try to get this off, I'm going to have a fight on my hands. That's probably far enough. If not, I'll know soon enough. One, two, three, four, five. There are five 12 millimeter bolts. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know if these are all the same size bolt as far as length. I'm gonna keep them in order when I take them out. So I'm gonna go left to right, starting here and going clockwise. See what I mean? That one way shorter than that last one. Number two. This is number three. It's even shorter. Here's the first one. Here's one we just took out. Even the long ones aren't even the same length. Keep them in order. It's important. That's five bolts with four different lengths. Come on, give a guy a break, would you? One, two, three, go. Come on, hose, let go of it. There we go. Next thing we gotta do is we've gotta get this old gasket material, or the remainder of it, off of the face of this timing cover. Now, if you have to, you can use a scraper or you can use a razor blade, but if you've got air and you're careful, you can use an angle grinder. So that's what we're going to do. It's aluminum, so do be careful. And there we go. Next, we're going to thoroughly clean the surface. Make sure we don't have anything on there contaminate our seal. Brake clean. It's fantastic. Next up, we want to make sure our new water pump matches our old water pump. So again, this is 1987 Dodge Ram 50 with a 2.6. And if you're going import direct, here's your part number, CP7120. Unless this looks different, in which case it's not five holes all in the right place. Everything seems to be lined up. We've got our bypass hose. 
and uh, that should do it. Seems to be the right pump. It does come with a brand new gasket and it comes with four studs for the uh, fan clutch. And when you're putting these fan clutch studs in, the shorter threaded side goes into the water pump. The longer threaded side you're gonna need to put onto that fan clutch and get the nuts to have any room to bite on it. And we're gonna snug these up just with some vice grips because you don't want these being wobbly and backing out for any reason. You could also use jam nuts to do this, I guess, but I don't want to. I know this is a little bit overkill on the vice grips, but my small vice grips are elsewhere doing good work right now. Okay, I think we've damaged the lower threads enough. Seems to be in there. Next, we're gonna use a little bit of gasket sealer just to put this gasket in place and hold it there while we put everything on. It's not really necessary for this application, but I'm probably gonna put just a little bit on each side. It'll also fill in some small gaps from any gasket scraping that we've done. But there we go. And then this will just go right in place and should stay there, no problems. Now put a little bit on the other side of this, just so it seals against that timing cover and we'll be ready to slam it back on. Actually, before I put that water pump on, I found that I do have some hose, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace this hose. Oh, that pipe was way longer than expected. Let's see, that's three quarters. It is not three quarters. This is five eighths. It's five eighths, so five eighths hose. Make sure to do some very careful measurements. And there we go. All the way back to your rust line, and that's all the way on. That right back to there. All right, water pump time. Just like that, hopefully. Right. Now we need a ratchet. This is aluminum on aluminum with aluminum going into cast iron. So your torque spec is going to be not crazy. If I had to guess, I would say it's not more than like 25 to 30 foot pounds tops. And it's probably less than that. Go around twice because when you snug stuff, sometimes the others aren't quite tight anymore. There we go. Tight enough. Boop. Do yourself a favor. Make sure you put these on in a way that you can actually get to them next time if you have to, just in case. All right, same thing we did earlier, but in reverse. So we're going to go belt first, then pulley, then fan clutch. There we go. All right. Everything is snugged up. We're going to add some coolant and be done with this. We only lost about a gallon. This is about a half gallon, so I'm probably going to reuse some of our old antifreeze, which is not the greatest idea. However, it's probably okay. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like if you have a toilet still running or maybe a stopped up sink drain in your kitchen or laundry room, very similar sound. Gurgly, that's what I'm saying. Mm, yep. Make sure you shake it twice. And that is up to the full line, cold, where it was before, so that means that we probably got just enough coolant back into the system. Ta-da! Water pump on this is pretty simple. Uh, actually, if I wasn't filming, it'd probably take maybe half hour, 40 minutes to do. It's a really easy job. Take your time, make sure you get all the gasket material off, Make sure your parts line up and replace all your hoses. All right, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.